how to use the online Caesar wheel on the computerscience.co.uk website. The online Caesar wheel can be used to both encrypt and decrypt messages. It is known as a substitution cipher, as one letter is simply replaced for another. More information about the history of the Caesar cipher can be found in the link in the description. The first thing to do is to enter the shift value at the top of the screen. This will shift the outer ring of the Caesar wheel by the value you entered. If we entered a shift of 3, the outer letter A is now over the letter D. So this is a shift of 3. Now that we have set up our Caesar wheel to the correct shift, we can now try encrypting a message. Let's encrypt the word hello. To encrypt, we look at the letter on the outside of the wheel and write down the letter on the inside of the wheel. So H in this case becomes K. Moving on to the next letter, we look at the letter E on the outside wheel and substitute it for the letter on the inside wheel. E becomes H. The next two letters are L. We look for L on the outside, then substitute L for O. Finally, we look for O on the outside and look at the inside and substitute O for R. We have now encoded the word hello as K, H, O, O and R. To decrypt a message, we again need to set up our Caesar wheel with the correct shift value. In this example, we will use a shift of 5. The outer wheel will move to the fifth position over the letter F. We have been given an encrypted message of B, T, W, Q and I. To decrypt the message, we need to work in reverse, so we look at the letter B on the inside of the wheel, and this is the letter W. The second letter is T, so we look at the T on the inside of the wheel, which is the letter O. The third letter is W, which we look at the inside of the wheel, which becomes R. The fourth letter is Q, which is letter L. And the final letter is the letter I, which becomes D. Our encrypted word is world. To recap, the first thing we must do is set the shift value. Once the shift value is entered, we can encrypt and decrypt messages. To encrypt a message, we look at the letter we want to encrypt on the outside of the wheel and substitute it for the letter on the inside of the wheel. To decrypt a message, we look at the letter we want to decrypt on the inside of the wheel and substitute it for the letter on the outside of the wheel. I hope this has been useful to you. Please like, subscribe or watch more videos to support us. Thank you very much.